So what you're going to do is, you're going to put your T-bar on here, all right? Then what you're going to do is you're going to add a light. The key is you want to make sure this part of the light is on the back and this part is up because it rocks as well and sometimes it'll get disoriented. So you've got your clamps here. You're going to bring your light in and you're going to do it snug. You're not going to over tighten it. And that's how you're going to do that side. Do the same thing on the other side. And as we put those two together, as this is your back side, you're going to hold it and you can see it tightening up right here as we go through the process. And for me personally, I like to get everything set up a little early. All right. This is going to be your part that runs into the wall. This is going to be your part here. Your power is going to go in. It's already pre-wired to the T-bar. This is going to be your other power. And then you're going to take this three prong plug, stick it in here. This is going to be your power out. This is going to be your power that goes to the wall. Once you plug these in, they will go live and they'll go automatically to the music. So you're going to do that after the traditional dances. You're going to set your stand up nice and sturdy. This cover is going to go here. And then each one of the legs is going to have a little pocket and you're just going to set the leg in the pocket and you're going to do that for all three of the legs that go out in front of the crowd most important thing with our light is this light will distract photography and we don't want to take away from the special dances which is the first dance father daughter dance mother son dance etc what you want to do is you want to leave this unplugged until after those and when you open the dance floor for everybody to dance that's when you want to add the lights it's sound activated so once you plug it in it's good to go all night so the other thing you're going to do is you're going to move this plug up move this up and you want to have enough height for it to go across your dance floor okay and you can put that up to seven, eight feet. And that's a good uh, throwing distance for your lighting unit. And with all of our equipment, you want to make it photo appealing. So you're going to go ahead and grab some tape and you're going to put some gafting tape here, here, and here. <laughs> 